channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for updates. Okay, so let us remember, before tayo magpa-perform or magpa-activity sa mga bata, dapat i-present po muna natin yung rubrics para naman may idea sila kung ano yung hinahanap natin uh, sa kanilang performance. So, dito sa rubrics na to, before tayo mag-proceed, ito po un sa unahan, ito po yung title. So, yung title ng activity. Ang aming ginawa ay yung fundamental dance position. So, yung task description naman, ito yung dapat nilang gagawin. So, student will demonstrate their mastery poise, technique, and expression by performing fundamental dance position involving both arms and feet. This activity will utilize one of the traditional folk dances from the Philippines, specifically the Carinosa. So, dito sa criteria, uh, kung makikita pa lang natin sa task description, naka-highlight lang dito yung mastery, voice technique, and expression. So, ayun yung pinagay namin criteria. So, dito kami titingin sa ano, uh, piniform ng students natin. So, una, mastery of fundamental steps. So, dapat maayos yung kanilang performance. Dapat alam nila yung five fundamental steps, paano nila i-execute yun, both arms and feet. So, meron po siyang 40%. Yung pangalawang row naman dito is yung voice and technique. So dito, tinitignan din yung posture nila, yung way ng kanilang pagtayo, yung way ng kanilang kamay, yung kanilang paa, and etc. And ano yung mga technique na ginamit nila na mas nakatulong sa kanilang performance. So ito ay 20%. And the third row naman is the expression. So, napakalaga rin sa tuwing magpe-perform ng folk dance is yung face expression or yung emotions. So, dito titignan namin or nakabase yung performance nila sa expression nila. So, ayun ay mayroong 10%. And yung last naman is yung overall performance. Dito na papasok yung mastery, voice technique, expression, and other strategy or is, ano uh, way ng kanilang pag-present dito sa overall performance na kung saan meron po itong 30%. So, dito naman sa itaas, sa uh, second to the fifth column, um, ito yung kanilang scores. Ay. Sa third column, dito naman yung expression. So, napakalaga rin kapag nagpe-perform ng folk dance is makita yung emotion. So, dito is mayroon tayong 10%. And the last is the overall performance. So, dito napapasok yung mastery, yung voice and techniques, expression, kung paano nila i-execute ng maayos. So, ito po ay mayroong 30%. So, dito naman yung score scale natin. So, sa score scale, meron po tayo ditong excellent. Ito po ay 5 points. Very good. Ito po ay 4 points. Good. Ito po ay 3 points. Fair. Ito po ay 2 points. And poor naman, ito po ay 1 point. So, so dito namang naka-highlight na ito. Ito ay tinatawag nating performance descriptor. So, dito nakalagay ko ano yung mga nahanap natin. In each performance descriptor, may nakalagay din na point kung ilan. So, yung point scale na tinatawag. So, dito, based pa lang sa napanood natin, kung bibigyan natin ng um, excellent yung bata, so, ito yung kanyang ano, uh, ibig sabihin. So, the demonstrate excellent mastery of fundamental steps, performing them with accuracy and precision all throughout the performance. So, binigyan mo siya ng excellent. So, meaning, ang score niya ay 5. And then, sa points and technique, nakita mo is very good siya. So, it's very good means 4 points. So, refine execution of steps consistent, consistent use of posture and technique. So, bibigyan mo siya ng 4 points. And then sa expression, nakita mo maayos. Doon sa video, maayos naman yung kanyang expression. Binigyan mo siya ng excellence, meaning 5 points. Sa overall naman, nakita mo is um, hindi naman gaano magaling or hindi naman gaano um, na-perform niya ito. Anang, anang. So, ayan, alam niyo na steps ng analytic rubric. So, ngayon naman, bibigyan na natin ng score yung kaninang na-perform. So, yung as teacher, binigyan mo siya ng excellent, meaning 5 points. So, maayos niyang na-demonstrate yung fundamental steps. So, next naman sa points and technique, binigyan mo siya ng 4 points. So, meaning very good. So, na-execute naman niya yung mga step with consistent use of posture and technique. And then, sa expression naman, binigyan mo siya ng excellent, meaning 5 points. Dahil nakita mo naman yung hinahanap mong emotions doon sa folk dance na yun. 
And then, sa overall performance niya, binigyan mo siya ng good. Na kung saan may napansin ka lang na minimal na konting mali lang sa performance. So, ayan. Um, after natin bigyan ng score yung bawat category, ipagpa-plus na po natin siya. So, 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 17. So, meron ako 17 over 20. So, how about yung nasa kanan? May mga percent or may mga percent scale pa siya. So, ang gagawin po natin dito, um, i-divide po muna natin yung score nila sa ano, um, kung ilang items po yun. So, 5 over 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And then, multiply natin sa 100 is equal to 100. Then, 100 times kung ilang percent yung nasa criteria natin, which is 40%. So, note po natin kapag po magmumultiply po tayo ng percent, is 2 decimal places lang po tayo ano, from the right. 2 decimal places. So, meaning 0 point or 0.40. So, ayan, na-total na natin lahat. So, meron siyang 17 over 20. So, paano naman yung nasa kanan side, yung criteria, di ba? Meron doon mga percent bawat ano ang um, hinahanap natin. So, ang gagawin po natin dyan, uh, yung score po nila, i-divide po natin kung ilang items. So, lahat po ng items nito is, is equal to 5. So, yung score nila, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And then, multiply po natin siya sa 100 is equal to 100. Then, 100 times po natin siya kung ilan po yung percentage. So, pag po magmultiply po tayo ng percentage, is dapat po 2 decimal place from the right. Okay? So, naging 0.40 po siya. So, 100 times 0.40 is equal to 40. And next naman is yung ganun lang din pong gagawin ninyo sa remaining anong po natin, criteria. So, 4 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.8 times 100 is equal to 80. 80 times 0.20 is equal to 16. So, ganun din sa expression, perfect score. So, meaning 10 na siya. So, sa overall performance, 3 over 5. So, 3 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.6 times 100 is equal to 60. So, 60 times 0.30 is equal to 18. So, after natin makuha yung mga nasa red, ayun po yung mga score nila. So, after natin makuha yan, in I, ano lang po natin, i-add uh, uh, lang po natin siya. So, 40 plus 16 plus 10 plus 18 is equal to 84. So, meron po siyang 84 over 100 or 84%. So, ganun lang po ang paggawa ng analytic rubric at pag-score nito. So, dito, nakakatulong to dahil um, nakikita mo talaga bawat ano is nade-demonstrate. So, dito, ang kinagandahan ng analytic rubric, ito ay two-dimensional. Meaning, it breaks down the performance into different part. Um, so, dito, si natin, nabibigyan ng score mga students natin na without favoring them. So, dahil dito, mas tinitignan natin yung skills or other things na gusto natin makita throughout their performance. So, that's all for my video. And thank you. Again, we are the group one. Thank you so much for listening. Bye!